Hi, this is Craig, software architect for Switch Hat in Lincoln, Nebraska. And I've got a real down and dirty, easy tutorial for you today on how to overlay the new Air 3.4 SDK into all of your Flash Builder and Flex 4.6 projects. So let's get started. First thing we're going to want to do is open a browser. And uh, we're going to just type in Adobe Air SDK. Search brings us to the download, the Air SDK. You choose the package that you need for your either Windows or Mac um, platform. I'm working off Windows 7 machine, so I've downloaded the uh, package here. And I've downloaded it to my desktop. And you're going to see that zip file here on the left. Now on the right, I've got a file titled 4.6.0. This is a copied file from the Flash Builder path uh, for the old SDK that I'm going to be actually upgrading. I'm not going to be replacing, I'm going to be upgrading it. And how we do that is I want you to go to the Start menu, Computer, we're going to open your C drive, Program Files x86, Adobe, Adobe Flash Builder 4.6, and we're going to go into the SDKs folder. <clears throat> now what you're going to notice is I've already got my new um, SDK created with the new Air 3.4 in it. But when you're looking at this for the first time, unless you've actually run an update, you're only going to see the 3.6 and the 4.6. Uh, what, what I want you to do is highlight the 4.6, right click, copy that folder, minimize our window, and we're going to paste that here onto our desktop. You can see that I've already done this. Now when you do it, it's going to take a little time. It's about a gig, uh, gig point seven, gig point eight file. So it'll take a few minutes to actually download to your desktop. But once it's done, um, uh, that full download and complete to your desktop, then what I want you to do is I want you to go up and I want you to click lightly in this area here where you can change and rename this file. And if you remember, I renamed mine 4.6.1. You can actually rename, you can use a naming convention of your choice on this if you want to. You could just simply call this Air 3.4. Uh, forward slash flash player 11.3. Whatever you want to do, it's really up to you so that you can identify this. So I've changed the title of my folder. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Air SDK. This is still zipped. And I'm going to unzip or extract these files to my new folder that I just created on the desktop. Now since I've already done this, it's saying, okay, do you want to replace those files? No. For you, you're just going to watch the transition of the files go into your new folder. Now simply I want you to highlight your new 4.6.1 folder, right click it, cut it, okay, we're going to go back to our start menu, control panel, C drive, program files x86, Adobe, Flash Builder, SDKs, and if you're working from a PC, it's just Control V. If you're working from a Mac, Command V, uh, or right click and paste. And what you'll do is you're going to put your new SDK with the 3.4 error runtime in it into your pathway that should uh, exist for where your other SDKs are. And once you've done that, you're good to go. Okay. So now we need to open Flash Builder and set this new SDK up so that it's the default for all of our projects from here on out. So we're going to go to Window, Preferences, we're going to go to Flash Builder, Installed SDKs, and you'll get this box here. Okay, now <clears throat> since I've already done this uh, and I've already put my new SDK in this path, uh, that's what's appearing here, you're more than likely, if you have not, again, run the upgrade to a new Air runtime for your uh, Flex or Flash Builder 4.6 projects, you're only going to see the Flex 4.6 and 3.6 files in here, or SDKs. So what I want you to do is I want you to go and add. And all we're going to do is we're going to navigate back to the path that we've already got. So we're going to choose that file. And what we've got is we've got the computer, OS install, program files x86, Adobe, Flash Builder, SDKs, and we're going to choose that new 4.6.1 SDK that we just created, the one that has the Air 3.4 in it. 
And then the Flex SDK uh, name, again, name this however you feel you want to. Air 3.4 Flash Player 11, 3, what, whatever you feel your naming convention needs to be. Since I've already done this, I won't do it again, but you'll hit OK. You're going to go ahead and then choose, uh, put a check mark by that new SDK that you've uh, just put in your path. Apply it, hit OK, and now you're done. You've just uh, put the new uh, Air 3.4 runtime and the Flash Player 11.3 into the path as the new SDK. So next time you compile any application, you'll actually be running the new 3.4 runtime. Now what you're going to notice <clears throat> is that if you have any files or any programs or excuse me applications that have been created prior to your updating uh, then you're going to see what will be ultimately compile errors uh, pop up in each one of these uh, applications all that you have to do is simply go into each one of these click on the source file and you're going to want to open your manifest file and you're going to just change all of your projects from the Air 3.1 or whatever you have it at currently to the Air 3.4. Okay, we're going to save that. Get out of this here. And what will happen is, is, is the next time you go to compile this application, well, right there, it already went away. So your software is going to notice that you've upgraded the new SDK, and now there will be no compilers when I go to run my applications. This is Craig with Switch Hat in Lincoln, Nebraska. Hope this uh, little tutorial helped you out, save you some time, and get you compiling your applications with the new Air 3.4 and Flash Player 11.3. Take care and have a great day.